and we are live. Hello, hello. <laughs> right, okay, let me just oh, sit properly. Oh my goodness, I have no crochet to take to do. Oh, I forgot all about a crochet project for me. Never mind. And I have over there on the other side of my sofa something that I want to show you. Hi, Sue. So yeah, I'm really well organized, as you see. Let me just go and get that. I've got tea there, so I have to make sure. Hi, Josh. I have to make sure I don't, you know. <laughs> okay, I've got that. <laughs> I've had a really busy week. Thank you, Sue. <laughs> um, it was good. And how was your week? <laughs> Hi Rachel, how are you? How is everyone? <laughs> Hi Says. Hello Joanne from Canada. Thank you. Thank you. and do you know what? I've just put it on. Yeah. I've just put it on and it's really too warm to wear it but I promised I would talk about it today and I would wear it for you so I'm going to be sitting here sweating buckets <laughs> so I'm trying to keep calm as much as possible <laughs> hi Stephanie how are you <laughs> oh hi Judith are you hi Judith are you from Portugal Hi from Rome. Hello, Chirata. Hi. Calm and cool. Yes, try and keep calm here. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> the cat is asleep over there, so I just... <laughs> she was here earlier on, on this. She's been sleeping on here. So I was hoping she would be here, but... When I'm setting up, they're always around because I put my uh, filming lights on just to give me some more light and they need uh, heating up sort of thing, you know, so I put them on a little bit in advance. And when I'm doing that, they're always around. But then when I actually start the live, they're gone. <laughs> so maybe she'll come and have another look later. But um, yeah, I found a picture last week of uh, um, Ginger, of Ray, sorry, the Ginger Cat, Ray, which I posted earlier to remind you about the um, the live um, and that happened when I was setting up last week and I thought oh if only you know if only he would stay but he didn't so there you go she's turning around now thinking no oh, I'm not going to get up I'm going to get more comfortable <laughs> so yes I promised I would wear my jumper and I am wearing it. I finished it. All I had to do last week was the neckline. So that's become a tiny little bit uh, smaller because I had to do two rounds. So that's good because it fits perfectly. Um, and yeah, I'm really pleased with my jumper. And it looks, you know, it looks really good. I love all the different stitches and everything. But unfortunately, it's not my pattern. Um, I just got it from the drops website well actually Josh it's not that hard um, this one was basically two parts so a back and a front and the only sizing you had to do was round the neck so that was reasonably easy um, oh thank you Rachel great do show me a picture yes when I say uh, show me a picture or get in touch with me Hi Jackie, in uh, YouTube there is a header and in that header you have sort of like buttons that go to your other social media channels. So in there I think you can find Facebook, Instagram, all kinds of things. So try and connect um, via those um, and that would, should work because other, some people can so you should be able to as well. Um, so yes, so um, it's not my pattern. I got it from the Drops website. So sometimes, I know this is what Maria, this is why I have started making clothing. Because I can wear that. I, I'll, I'll wear a shawl, I'll wear a poncho, I'll wear a jumper. 
um, and I've looked at my wardrobe and I had a jumper just like this which I've worn so much and I thought why am I wearing a bought jumper I can make this myself so generally what I do is I go to Pinterest and I type in it's quite long so this is the vest that I'm wearing underneath this is where my skirt is so it's like like this and it has this side split in it it's like the pattern so the pattern has that as well Hang on, let me show you not don't drop you <laughs> okay so it's quite long and it's sort of yeah it's just under my bum really um, and that's how I found it you know so I, I I see a picture of it then I followed through and I found that it was a drops pattern so for a drops pattern I don't know whether you can see this it's called grey sparrow by drops design so um, it's made in drops sky but I didn't do it in sky I used Scapia soft fun because I like this um, and also I think drop sky is alpaca polyamide and wool which I can't I can't you know wool itches uh, alpaca I, I'm not sure about it but there is wool in it so I wasn't going to risk it this is cotton acrylic and it's perfect for jumpers perfect for things to wear so I thought um, you know this would be the ideal substitute um, and if you look at it there the lady can you see her I think my jumper looks very very much the same I did three quarter sleeves and yeah they're finished like this which I don't which I fi I'm fine about um, I like three quarter sleeves because it just sort of doesn't you know get in my way when I do things um, sometimes I will so like you see I'm wearing a vest underneath Sometimes I also wear um, a long sleeve t-shirt underneath and <laughs> for me a long sleeve t-shirt only ends there. Uh, so most of my long sleeve t-shirts don't are not long sleeve, they're like that. And so it just fits perfectly under the sleeve. So it's perfect for me, this jumper. Um, so yes, I looked at my wardrobe and I saw that I was wearing uh, this jumper that I was always um, wearing it. Um, it was bought and I thought I'm going to make my own and then when I saw this pattern I thought well that looks very similar to what I had and I just made it I just start I, I got the uh, you know I ordered this from Mool Warehouse so I got it um, then started what I also did and that does help enormously actually I did two things the first thing is I used my old jumper to size this one so I followed the sizing on here but then, just to make sure that I was doing it right, I put my old jumper on my desk, put my new piece on it, and it was just the same width. So I thought, great, you know, can't go wrong. So I kept just measuring and making sure that the length and the width... Uh, continuous granny square, yes, I've got a video for that, so do go and have a look at that as well. Uh, it's one of my scrap videos, I think. Uh, I start it in a chat video I think the continuous granny square and I just keep going it's not fin I finished it but I could just pick it up again and do some more rows if I wanted to okay um, and then the second thing I did for this jumper I started it with the required hook as prescribed here it said hook four or four and a half so I went down to a four and it was far too tight um, I didn't have the same holes as she had in the picture as I have here I really wanted um, a big holy jumper so I, I think I had about this much done and then I thought mm. and also the size was smaller hi Kay hi the size was smaller so I thought okay let's get a bigger hook and let's start again because I'm going to wear this it has to be right 
So then I started it and then it looked, it felt and the holes were big enough and everything and the size was great. So it was worth restarting. Okay, so I had done like this much of my uh, like one, hello Madeleine, like one, um, you know, repeat of the pattern when I realized actually this is, is not right. Hi Anna, thank you. Um, and with clothing, that's how you have to do it. Hi Faye, hi Suzanne, thank you. Um, so that's what you have to do. And to be honest, I don't mind having to restart because of course, it, like I said, it has to be right because you're wearing it. So that's the two things I did. I used my old jumper or an old jumper, a one that you've bought, that you're wearing or that you've made and that you're wearing uh, and that you know that fits for sizing. For, to give it an idea of sizing but also of course for you know for you try it on as well and then thank you Kay and then um, yeah the hook size is always a problem for me um, see the thing is these things are not written in stone as you can see I've I decided you know sort of I, I indicate which size and what size hook I am using so that when you go away and you come back to it you know so that's always important but you know you can do this with any wool and any hook as long as you realize as you keep an eye on the size as you realize that it's not going to be that particular size you wear you're working for your own body basically and it's never going to be a standard size no we're all unique aren't we so you're never going to you know yes i mean it will be fabulous if you if you fit into a standard size you've made it to the to the letter according to the pattern and it fits that's wonderful but for me that doesn't work okay so there is always some sort of adjustment that you have to do thank you so yes so i had uh, to be honest this jumper took a long time to make um not really but the parts didn't take a long time in themselves. I just had to stop working on it because I went on holiday. Then I stopped working on it because I went on holiday. <laughs> and then I stopped working on it because I went on holiday. <laughs> I know this is a little bit oversized. Look, you know, can you see? But it's, it's the charm of it, isn't it? It's lovely, yeah. Uh, so yes, had I, and this was my plan, had I taken this to Cape Verde and finished it there, I would have had it from mid mid May. I would have had it. I would have had it finished in Cape Verde, and I would have been able to wear it there. Um, so yeah, now it's finished now, and now of course the sun comes out. Um, I think I used about thirteen of these. Um, I think because I ordered some, I already had some. Then I have some left. As you say, I hi, um, hi Holly. <laughs> I started restarted. I mean, I did undo it and start use that wool. Obviously, I don't um, you know waste it. But even so, it sort of throws you by, um, you know, by how much you've used. Yeah. So when you've made something yourself, do be careful when you wash it. Uh, I think I'm going to wash this by hand, certainly the first time. Um, I don't think I've ever washed anything in this. Yeah, maybe the the the, the mustard coloured jumper, but um, yeah, I'm try. I try to be careful with it anyway, just to make sure that it nothing happens to it. Um, and I don't know whether this will the colour will run because it's such a dark colour. So I always uh, soak any um, new dark coloured things in water with vinegar so it stay so it keeps the color thank you patricia it's a drops pattern it's gray sparrow so it's gray sparrow by drops you can just get it from their website um what i do i have done this before with one of their patterns uh you have to print it off you cannot just look at it online uh, because there is a lot of kerfuffle <laughs> that you have to do um, so what um, I am going to use some of this pattern and some of my experiences um, 
with making this jumper in a, a video hi Patricia in a video that I am doing about how to learn to read patterns because obviously this once again tested me every pattern is a test it's as simple as that um, there is no hard and fast rule for learning patterns um, I, I, this is crocheted uh, 15 balls thank you Kay okay 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 <laughs> let me just do this properly because I didn't do it properly earlier let's just have a look if I can show you properly there we go see so it's um, it comes to just under my bum yeah Wendelin I will give you pointers for that so it comes to just under my bum this is the vest I'm wearing and I like the fact that it has a high thing here a high split so you can actually see the vest so that's good and there we go this is my jumper 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 hang on hang on oh, ah, oh. <clears throat> there we go and yeah, so the, the one in the in the picture sort of seems to hang a lot heavier down, but I think this is fine. I think it looks okay. <laughs> okay, let me bring you up closer again. Thank you. I don't mind sharing. <laughs> I like showing you all the things I do because you're also awesome to me. Okay, I've got to just put my legs out. Ooh, right. Well, Sharon, to be honest, it didn't take me all that long, but it did. Uh, it didn't take me all that long to do the parts. But um, Celeste, no, there isn't because this is not my pattern. Um, you have to go to the Drops website and see how you can do it. Um, I. It took a long time in time because I put it aside a couple of times because I went on holiday like three times in between and I should have taken it on my first holiday so I could have just finished it there because of course I had time enough uh, on my sun lounger um, but I didn't <laughs> um, and of course now I finished it and the weather is nice and I can't wear it because it's too hot it, I'm too hot now but never mind I shall wear it <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah i'm going to like i said i'm going to use this um as an example for how to read patterns i have other patterns which i've been collecting uh, so i can use um examples for that um celeste yeah sorry i not always do i design things myself i also make things for myself from other designers obviously because I just don't have the time to uh, <laughs> but I can tell you this I am working very hard at the moment and you all know I'm doing technique videos for August July is nearly full up as well with videos so what I am doing is I am taking those two months where I've already done the videos for well soon I will have already done the videos for it to design a cowl okay so I am going to try thank you Celeste thank you Sharon uh, thank you Jacqueline I am going to design a cowl obviously I need to uh, some time to do that so what I'm trying to do now is work a little bit in advance with my videos and with those technique videos, I've got quite a few already planned and filmed and, you know, in the works. So um, if I collate them all together, I will have quite a lot of videos for you to just release. And then during that time when I'm not doing a video for you every week, because they're all programmed already, I am going to make... A cal. I'm going to design a cal. I've got it in my head. I just need to do it. Okay, and that will give me time to um, 
to do that. So this colour, this is Scapius Soft Fun. Somebody asked for the colour. Scapius Soft Fun. And the colour is 2510. 2510. I don't know whether you can read this. I don't know whether this is back to front. 2510. Um, it doesn't have a colour name. Um, just go to the website where they sell it and this is like the, I think it's it's not the darkest grey that they have and it's not the lightest grey, it's sort of in between. I ordered um, for other projects, I ordered some of these um, and I ordered some greys with it. Josh, I am not going to tell you what it is. It's going to be a secret for as long as I can. Okay, Anna? Great. Um, so yeah, I wanna, um, I want to be, I know what I'm making. No, Josh, no! <laughs> I know what I'm making. It's going to be something for everyone. And it's going to be not too difficult, okay? It's gonna be fairly easy so that everybody can take part. But if you're an advanced crochet, you'll just love doing it. And if you're a beginner, you'll love the challenge. Okay. Um, and I think that's a good thing. And it's going to be something for everyone. So I hope. Um, so uh, yeah, I, um, I know what I'm making. I know the design of it. I just have to um, colour. Ja, I know Jacqueline. Uh, scheepjes komt van Nederland. Dus ja, dat is heel grappig, hè? Scheepjes. <laughs> I know, I know. But we have, hopefully, I will start the Cal in September. So there's two months. Two months for hints. Please, please, guys, give me two months for hints. Okay, I will start dropping hints. I will start dropping pictures as soon as I am in the making of it okay um, I am still deciding on the color Z colors color colors <laughs> one month we'll see we'll see so this means people make sure if you're on Facebook you follow my Facebook page Ophelia talks if you're on Instagram follow my Instagram page Ophelia talks because that's where I'll be jumping on to show you some maybe some sneak peeks so yeah plus I have a theme <laughs> okay <laughs> I have a theme in my head um, which also I want to work out in it so you know eight weeks Sue eight weeks <laughs> oh dear yeah so um it's all germinating in my head at the moment so give me a chance give me a chance um i am at the moment i'm still doing the um you know the technique videos i'm working on those so i can make sure that you've got plenty of stuff to keep you busy over july and august and then um i'll be able to start working on the cow i have like i said i, ha I have certain things already in place but of course i still have to oh goodness the colour combination is so difficult because, of course, um, not only do I have to like it, you guys have to like it. Plus, also, my camera has to like it because if I go for dark colours like that grey, it's not going to, excuse me, work very well on camera, is it? So, anyway, we'll get there. <laughs> do you like my colours of nails? Do you like my nails? I had them done on Wednesday. No, Thursday? Thursday. Yeah. Oh, I need this tea. <laughs> Thank you, Jacqueline. So yes, all very exciting. Um, and yeah, so I also still have to do the uh, video on the pattern reading. So that's why I'm still, thank you, uh, that's why I'm still working on getting these two months full up with videos so I can start working on the cal. Um, I just, the thing is, I, I am, um, 
I don't have time during the day. You see, I work during the day. So, uh, no, Sue, no. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Do you like the color? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the cowl will be my own color, uh, my own design. So that's why I need the time to, th to sit down do it you know sort of start doing it and then of course you have to then do the counting and do the pattern writing there will also be written patterns for it <laughs> okay so it will be the full works no josh i am not telling you what it is trying again i mean honestly <laughs> um what was i saying <laughs> please no, not yet, not yet. There will be, there will be hints soon. So, um, yeah, so, um, you know, it. I, I need time because I, I can only crochet and design in the evenings. Thank you, Celeste. Thank you, Celeste. Um, and oh, yes, Josh, I have decided not to tell you. <laughs> Um, and I need just time, you know, I need batches of time where I can just sit down and do it because of course you, when you're doing something like this, you're making it, but I bet I'll have to undo it and make it again as well. So, you know, there is always that element, um, of mistake that you're making in your own designs, which you then have to redo. And, uh, so that just takes time and I want to do it properly. Um, I want to have it tested as well, the pattern. So I'm going to ask one of my friends. Um, you know, um, I'm going to ask one of my friends who also, yeah, a runner is nice, isn't it? Yes. It's still on my mind. It's still on my mind. Hi, Susan. Thank you very much. I hope you feel at home. I know they're asleep as usual. There's one there. One is actually in my storage room asleep on, on one of my bags. I mean, why? It's just, anyway. <laughs> Um, so yeah, no, I just need time to do it all properly and I want it done properly. You know, I don't want to sort of do it half-heartedly and, um, you know, end up with something that you can't, um, you know, make heads or tails out of basically. Um, yes, that was nice. Um, I walked, I walked, when I walked back from the nail technician, I walked through the park and I always see something that, uh... <laughs> oh no! Oh dear, cats, uh, yeah, I know, things happen here as well, I can tell you that. Um, and I saw this flower and I thought, oh, that looks nice. So I just wanted to make sure I had a really nice picture. And actually, I posted it on my Instagram and my nail technician uh, then posted it on her page as well because she liked it. So that was good. Uh, they're using my picture um, for their marketing purposes, which is great. So yeah, that was really good. Um, so yes, like I said, I want to make something really nice. I want to make a nice pattern, something that can, you know, that you can uh, also make and that you can say, yes, that was a good pattern. So we'll, we'll see. Oh yeah. Um, pla ver ver crochet plants. Do you know what? I, I should like a blanket. I should, um, I should make, I've done cacti before, but they're really small, aren't they? At the moment, see, what I've just been talking about, the cal, that's what I want to um, concentrate on. But after that's finished, obviously I'll be filming that and I'll be doing videos for that. So after that is finished, I'll start up doing small projects again. And yes, plants could be very well, could be part of, you know, the list. I have so many things on the list that I want to make. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm very thirsty for some reason. Right. So, <clears throat> next week is going to be a bit of a different week on my channel because, yeah, it's there, Maria. I've got a very small tutorial 
in my Christmas list last year the advent um, I did the advent calendar I did I had a very small project with Tunisian crochet and that's a perfect beginner thing to just indicate and just give you an idea of what it's like so do go and have a look at that um, yes the campfire cardigan yes that is lovely isn't it um, I think a lot of people made that was one of those crazes wasn't it uh, like the virus shawl was um, yeah everybody at one point everybody was making the campfire cardigan um, but yeah so next week I am releasing a video a day every day so tomorrow it starts Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday at 9 a.m. about my trip to Italy so if you have a big project that you're working on great you'll enjoy using Stylecraft oh that's nice <laughs> Leila I'm no I know I'm sorry yeah I mean I always drink tea it's half it's lukewarm now <laughs> uh, so if you have a big project um, go ahead and work on it while you're watching my Italy videos because I have made sure I could edit them you know as soon as possible quickly as possible um, and yeah they give you an idea of what I was doing there and there's lots of <laughs> Josh would you like to be my tester <laughs> No, I have a lady uh, locally here um, and we get together sometimes for a tea and coffee uh, and cake, tea and cake, and um, I pay her in tea and cake <laughs> and she tests uh, my patterns for me. So, <laughs> um, so I shall be asking her, if she's not watching today, uh, I shall be asking her to, um, you know, sort of give me a little hand with... Oh, honeymoon in France, that's nice. Uh, give me a little hand with testing the patterns or just, you know, sort of trying to make them and then see what she comes up with, basically. Uh, see if um, the pattern works out all right when she's reading it. But yes, uh, like I said, I want it to be a really nice uh, project, a really nice cal um, with, with patterns that work out, that don't have any mistakes in them. So it will just take me a little while to do that. Um, but yes, I've got the project and no, I'm not telling you. <laughs> um, I've got it all down. It's just choice of colour, choice of the type of yarn and off we go. That will be fun. So uh, yes, and I will be dropping small hints, very small hints. <laughs> oh, I'm really excited now. Oh dear, no, well, yeah, okay, <laughs> start thinking about something else, so yeah, next week, all, a whole week of um, Italy videos, thank you, Kay, I try, I do my best, <laughs> so finally, the weather has turned a bit warmer here in the UK, where we are, it's nice and sunny now, I can see a few clouds, Yeah, it's it. It's very hot, uh, Raffaello. It's really hot here as well. But Raffaella, sorry. Um, but yeah, I still drink tea. Yesterday I made an iced tea. So what I do is I make my a cup of tea in the morning. I leave it to cool down, and then I put it in a big jug with lots of ice, and then I put that tea in, and then I fill it up with water so it's like diluted. But the thing is, Raffaella. Okay. Um, the <laughs> the thing is, um, it condenses. There's condensation on the outside, so it's all wet. So I get water everywhere. So I just leave it on my desk in a in a little dish. Uh, so yeah, I decided to have just normal tea today. And this is lemon, ginger, and manuka honey from pucker teas yeah is it hot in um in it's hot in belgium as well yeah 
it's just what you're used to, isn't it? If you um, you know, yes, a cold drink will be would be nice. I have my cold drink on my desk, but I haven't got it here, so I've got to drink while I have. <laughs> like I said, I was organised before I started. <laughs> But there you go. I'll be taking off this jumper soon as well because the minute I'm finished, it'll come off. <laughs> oh yes, if it's a dry heat, it's really warm, isn't it? Here it's been quite humid, so. So do you, I mean, to be honest, I, um, here it's never too hot to stop crocheting. So does the heat stop you from crocheting sometimes? I do know that when I went to Cape Verde the first time, I took acrylic yarn with me. Never again will I do that. I will never again make that mistake. That was horrible. It was like fire running through your fingers. Um, yes, smaller projects, cotton projects, or this uh, cotton acrylic, that, that works fine. Um, so yeah, I have to say, um, when I um, go to like Cape Verde where it's really hot, I just take cotton, uh, cotton uh, to do small projects so that when I'm doing uh, videos, I can do, um, you know, I can do some preparatory work for those videos in during the holiday basically. Or sometimes I just finish something or I make something that I fancy. Um, Mm, yeah yeah so make sure it doesn't touch you yes that's fine but it still has to run through your fingers uh, because I remember I was making that Kath Kidston blanket the first time I went to Cape Verde uh, or the second time I went anyway I took it with me um, and oh my goodness it was like running through my fingers and it was like oh so hot it was like fire um, I did work on it despite whatever it felt because I knew it wasn't burning me um, but still, um, I didn't make that mistake the next time. I just took cotton. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's good, Sue. <laughs> um, but, you know, sometimes on these Facebook groups, you see people say, oh, I can't work on blankets now because it's too hot or it's too hot. So, yeah. Thank you, Raffaella. Thank you. It's a drops pattern. It's made in Scapia Soft Fun and it's called Grey Sparrow. There we go, just for those who are joining later. So um, yeah, I, I fin finished it. It would have been finished a lot sooner had I not gone on holiday like three times. Yeah, it does happen sometimes, doesn't it? When you're when you're uh, crocheting in the heat and it sort of squeaks on your hook, um, that's quite funny. <laughs> yeah, I try um, to avoid that. Although sometimes it does squeak, even when I'm on the video. So <laughs> that's always funny when it's on the video. But there you go. That's how it goes. Um, those are sort of the noises we get used to when we are crocheting. <laughs> Oh, I really like this. Hey Sue, if they call us crazy, let them call whatever. Let they call us whatever they want, as long as we're happy. Yes. Um, yeah. So I've gone from making blankets to something that I can wear. But of course, a lot of you, I understand, you have like stalls or thing, or you. Um, it is the yarn talking to us, yes. Um, and you want to make things for selling, um, even for Christmas, for selling at craft uh, stores, uh, craft fairs. So I do try to come up with certain things that are small that you can uh, adapt. For instance, that mini bunting that came out. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, uh, you know, people call me crazy. I don't care. <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> um, and that bunting could be adapted quite easily. Do you know, I'm thinking of making that bunting if we're putting here, so it says Ophelia talks. What do you think? Should I do it? In white? And then black letters? 
Exactly. Exactly. Who We don't, you know, I don't care what anybody else thinks. As long as we're happy, we're not hurting someone, you know? Yeah, okay, I'll do that. I'll start it in a minute. <laughs> Um, yeah, I thought it would be nice. And if I hang it sort of quite low here, then you can see it while I'm on the live. Because I have got a nice wall here, but you can't see it because, you know, my screen is up too high, too low. See? See, I've got those little houses there. See? Look. Ah! Don't drop them. Don't drop the people in your camera. Yeah, so I've been thinking about making that, but of course I haven't been able to. I am British and Belgian, uh, Jean. I have dual nationality, British, Belgian, Belgian, British. Um, and I, um, yeah, I have two passports basically. Oh, I thought that was, um, I can hear the traffic going past, so it's always a bit disconcerting <laughs> when something loud comes past yeah so oh thank you Kay thank you uh, Chiaretta yeah I'll start uh, working on my little and I was also thinking about uh, framing the new logo I haven't had a chance to look I've got a frame but I haven't had a chance to look at it oh it's been so busy <laughs> All the things I want to do and I just don't have the time. Why does work have to come in the way? Work just... Thank you, Raffaella. Uh, work is just such an inconvenience. Honestly. <laughs> Why can't I just crochet all day long? <laughs> um, yeah, I, um, I've been very busy this weekend. Um, so, yeah, I haven't done as much crochet as I want to. I haven't got a special project. Thank you, Susan. I shall have a go at that. I haven't done a special project um, as such. Yeah, but I, I want to um, have it, you know, delineated, you know, have a nice frame around it. Thank you, Raffaella. Although I have to say sometimes when that video is rolling, I cannot think of the words. Goodness me. But yeah, I keep it real. There we go. That's my excuse. <laughs> um, but yes, so I shall get started on doing that bunting. I might just do the bunting a little bit bigger so that, you know, so the letters are big enough for, for in the video. What do you think? Yeah, a little bit bigger than the mini ones. Um, and then I'll just, I think I'll, um, maybe I'll sew on the letters. Or you can do slip stitch, uh, surface slip stitch to put the letters on. That would be good as well, shouldn't it? Yay! Thank you. Thank you, Jean. Thank you, Kay. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> do you know, it's really nice to be appreciated. I feel really appreciated by all of you. And I appreciate it so much, you know. Um, it's just so nice, um, the little community that we have. Yeah, pillow covers. Uh, you know, I, you know, the thing is, I, I, I don't, I have so many ideas. Don't worry, Raffaella, I understand, I can read between the lines. <laughs> um, you can, I have the same problem. I have two keyboards that I use so a Dutch one and a Belgian one and sometimes yes a good idea there a surface stitch for the tutorial for the yeah okay I'll do that um yes Sue that's a perfect excuse so Raffaella I have two uh, languages for my keyboards on my iPhone and I keep switching, but sometimes I don't switch and then I'm typing Dutch in the English one and then it autocorrects to all kinds of funny things. You should see the messages, my husband and I, the ones that we send to each other. Um, he's like, the other day he said, I'm in Exton, which is a village next next door to Exmouth, um, because he had to go to work by train. And it said, it autocorrected and it said, I'm in extermination, <laughs> no extinction. <laughs> I'm in extinction. I'm like, um, 
Extinction? What do you mean? Are you dying? <laughs> he was in Exton. Anyway, so all the funny things we send to each other because we're using the wrong keyboard. So yes, that's, but I understand. I don't take um, any notice of things like that, okay? Uh, we all know autocorrect is very strong, has a very strong opinion. <laughs> and sometimes it just changes things, even if you don't want it to. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Oh, I know, Kay, I know. Here, the same thing here, you know, I'm speaking cat language to the cats, I'm speaking Dutch to my husband, I'm speaking English to you. <laughs> sometimes I'm like, which language am I? I speak the wrong language sometimes to the wrong person. And then they look at me like, um, yeah, I didn't get that. <laughs> so yeah, because that's the wrong language. <laughs> but there we go, we're not hurting anyone, we're having a good time, and that's the main thing. It sure can be. It sure can be, Sue. I know. I know. It's just ridiculous. If you're mixing languages, it's always... Oh, the other day, you know, my daughter was here. Well, she... We always share the bed, so she always comes and, um, you know, sleeps in bed with me. And um, she said, Mummy, you were talking in your sleep. And I'm like, oh, no, what was I saying? <laughs> and she said, I think it was Dutch. <laughs> so, yeah, apparently I speak Dutch in my sleep. Um, and she was like, yeah, something about not having any eggs. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, she's off on holiday today. She should be in the plane now. I can't see because uh, she's on my phone. But yeah, so uh, earlier I got a um, picture of her and her friend in the plane. So really excited for her. Um, so hopefully after the live, I'll be trying to find her um, on Find Friends and see where she is. See if she's survived uh, her trip. But I'm sure everything will be all right. Um, but yeah, she's going away on holiday for a week to Dubrovnik. She was going. So Croatia. So yeah, really pleased that she set off all right this morning. Yeah, so there we go. I am going to have to slowly calm down and take this jumper off because I'm getting really, really warm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, um, I... I do that as well, Asu. I use, um, I speak sometimes, um, but the thing is, you see, this is a golden tip. Do not press send without rereading your text. Do not press, just send. Always check it. Um, I, I made myself do that, certainly when you're also speaking. Um, and I have uh, both, this, I can speak both the languages, so either Dutch or uh, Span uh, English, uh, I can speak. So both of my um, keyboards have the uh, capability of being spoken to in those languages. And I have to say, just go over it again before you send anything, okay? Before you hit that send button. I did it yesterday. I, uh, I typed... Um, some a, a, fr a new friend yes I sent something to my mum by accident and it, and it was meant for my husband ah. <laughs> um, I mean yeah I mean they don't get offended but even so I mean one of my new friends that I made um, in last week on that trip uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, she's a blogger, so she's putting up posts at the moment about our trip. So I'm reacting to it because, of course, it was nice and it was nice to, you know, that she, she mentioned me even. So um, I thought, yeah, I'll tell her, you know, what a nice blog post and everything. And I did, and I did that. And then I... What did I say? Oh, my goodness, an autocorrect turned it into a word that I thought, oh, my God, this is negative, you know? And I only noticed it when uh, I posted it. And this was on Instagram. And you cannot edit a comment on Instagram. It took me five minutes to realise that I couldn't edit it. So I had to delete it and then type it, get, uh, type it again. So hopefully 
<laughs> she hasn't seen the first version. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Hi, Beatrice from Rio de Janeiro. Yay! <laughs> uh, we're all international here. <laughs> so yes, it's always very embarrassing um, when that happens. Um, at work as well, I... Um, Thank you. I do crochet tutorials, crochet tutorials <laughs> at work as well. When we're talking, I talk to them on, on a chat. Um, thank you, Maggie. And yeah, I'm doing a bunting later for the back here as well with Ophelia Talks. I know you, I know you, they don't mean it, but you know, everybody knows about autocorrect now. So it's all okay. But even so, do you know what I mean? I didn't want it to be awkward, you know. Um, at work, um, sometimes we're talking uh, on chat. Because I work from home, I'm constantly um, talking to my colleagues by chat. So you're typing. And of course that goes really quickly sometimes because you're typing, you're reacting and sometimes you're, you know, all, you know, excited or sometimes something's happened and you have to type really quickly. And oh, I mean, uh, we have said to each other, you know, if we type a wrong letter, a wrong word, just read through it. You know, hi, Laurie. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and we do. And sometimes people just type the weirdest things and I think, oh my goodness, what has she typed? But of course, you know, it's because it was quickly done. Uh, but yeah, that one is just type, 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 return, type, return, type, send, 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 you know. Um, but yeah, because it's like you're having a conversation, but you're typing it. So yeah, um, but there we go. Oh, hi, Rachel. Are you in North Somerset? Oh, wow. Yeah, so I'm in Devon. Um, and what's the weather like there? We are having, mm, yeah, sun, but a little bit fluffy clouds in the sky as well. Um, it's been, the sun only came out this afternoon, so it was a little bit sort of grey this morning, but still warm because the sun is behind the clouds and it's quite warm. We should have a nice sunset here. Okay, whew, right. I am definitely talking too much. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I've got some washing outside, so I'll be um, going after this, I will be uh, going and getting that in because otherwise it's going to go clammy because I know how it works. Ah, okay. Hang on. Does it, Oh, yes, sorry. Yes, it does say drops 19514. Thank you, Kay. Um, 19514, yeah, that's the uh, the design, yeah. The piece is worked top down with a lace pattern and long split in the sides. But I will give more information about it as well uh, in that video that I'm doing about uh, how to read a pattern, okay. Um, because um, drops patterns are completely different from any other patterns, basically. Um, so, you know, it's adjusting each time that you read a pattern, basically. So, yeah, I hope um, that you've had a nice week behind you, that you've had a lovely weekend, and that you are looking forward to another week of crochet business. <laughs> um, I hope that you will like all my Italy videos. So there'll be no crochet videos this week. It'll be a video a day about Italy. Um, yeah, I am doing that video next week. Um, I'm making it next week, I hope, uh, Kay, uh, so that I can still think about it and edit it. And then I will program it uh, for whenever it is that I've got it. Um, planned in my diary <laughs> um, before the technique videos anyway uh, because the technique videos are sort of different again uh, we went to Lago Maggiore and Lago Orta and we went to Piedmont Piedmont Piemonte or how do you pronounce it I don't know um, so um, yeah sort of North Italy uh, near Switzerland um, and in the mountains there as well, because some of the houses really, they looked like Swiss chalets. 
Um, so I, so at some point I thought, I'm in Switzerland, surely we've crossed the border. Uh, but yeah, so a part of Italy is very much um, mountainous there and um, like Switzerland. So you will see in the videos um, that it was not only very hot, but it was also a very, very active holiday. Um, and sometimes all that activity in the heat was just... <sighs> Thank you, blue skies. Um, yeah, so it was... Do you know, last week I was still... I, was, I had to rest. I was home uh, from like Thursday onwards and I just had to rest. Um, it was quite a busy, busy holiday. Bye, Wendelin. Thank you for joining us. So yes, um, do you know, we, we only had one pizza. We didn't even have a, much of it. And guess what? When I left, my husband was like, oh, oh, hi, Shiretta. Oh, 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 are you? Oh, my husband was like, oh, you're going to have lots of pasta and, and, and lots of lovely dishes. And I'm like, yeah, we had lovely food, but no pasta. They have rice there. They eat polenta. Thank you. Ah, exciting. Um, I'm doing Ashtanga again, uh, Blue Skies. So yes, that's interesting as well. I can do all kinds of things again. <laughs> oh, well, you should be on the lookout for him. <laughs> um, so yes, I was really surprised that um it i mean i love polenta and i i love the risotto rice because that's what it was risotto um but yeah i was really looking forward to a lot of pasta but there wasn't but we did manage to stop in a supermarket and we bought a couple of um bags of pasta to take home with us and the pasta i bought the shapes i had never seen because that's what i wanted i wanted uh, shapes that i never um yeah, not today because I'm wearing a skirt. <laughs> and um Oh yes, I have to do that as well, Josh. Flash my stash. Flash my stash video. <laughs> um so yeah, my I do know I haven't got a big stash to flash. Um but yes, I will flash it at one point. <laughs> Just remind me about that video. It will happen. <laughs> um, so yes, I was really surprised that uh, we didn't eat more pasta. But I brought some back, so I'm happy. And the Spirelli that I brought back was really fun. It was like hollow. And it was like like um, suspension things. You know the suspension on a car? That ring thing. That sort of springy thing. Um, that's what it was like. And they were hollow. Amazing. So I've got two more kinds. Drink tea. Drink tea. Yes, maybe I should drink tea. <laughs> ah, that's better. <laughs> um. Oh, that's a nice idea. Mm, sort of like primary colours. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was, I think the brand I bought was something like that. Anyway, it was not a brand that I knew in it, in um, in the UK. So I'd never seen that brand before. I tried to buy a completely different brand. Um, so thank you, Kay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that, um, you know, it would be something different from what I normally can buy. That's why I bought it. But if I have a books a bag uh, left over I'll show you um, next week okay people I am going to go and say goodbye I hope you enjoy my um, videos of next week so you will have lots of videos to watch while you're crocheting um, the week after we will continue our usual schedule of crochet videos this was blue and white, actually, uh, Raffaella. Josh, I have to go because I can feel, I can feel, I might just say something about that cow, but I'm going to go, so I can't tell you.
Yes, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's on the tip, but I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. No. No. I haven't decided on the colours. I've got a theme in mind. I've got a name in mind. But I haven't decided on anything yet. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you. I appreciate that you appreciate that I keep it real. <laughs> no, Josh. No. Blanket cow. Let's just call it the blanket cow. Yay! <laughs> oh dear, this is gonna. Be, oh, I'm going to enjoy this. I am so going to enjoy this. <laughs> Josh, let me tell you, it's a cow. <laughs> I don't want to say anything just yet. Yes, Trevor. I've seen him. Actually, this morning, my husband made me breakfast. We just had it in the kitchen. And um, then he went outside just to clean the car. And Trevor walked past and Trevor asked my husband, So, did you make her breakfast in bed? And my husband said, no, I didn't make it in bed, but I did I did make her breakfast. So he was really happy that my husband had made me breakfast. <laughs> Sue, excellent. Yes, it's made with yarn and you'll have to use a hook. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, Trevor has been spotted today. Uh, he has been spotted on, when was it? When did I go out on Wednesday? I went out with him for coffee, I think. Um, when did I go to the shop and I bumped into him and I went for coffee with him? So yes, it happened this week. <laughs> two -hoo. Yes, two hints. It's made with yarn and you need a hook. Excellent. So um, yeah, Trevor's around. Um, the gardener in the park has a different job, so he's not going to be around anymore. But I had a nice chat with him, um, wishing him all the best. So hopefully, you know, that will be nice. Um, and yeah, I hope everyone had a lovely time during the live. I sure had. Josh, be back next week. I might just tell you a clue. Um... And hopefully, <laughs> thank you, uh, thank you, Josh. Do make sure you're back. Uh, okay, come back next week if you can. Um, and I will. I hope you enjoy the videos this week. Do leave me a comment below if you enjoyed them. Um, you know, or if you were crocheting at the same time. There's quite an exciting video about me ziplining because I filmed it. I also filmed it when I was biking. I filmed it when I was swimming. <sighs> Gerada, that's lovely. Yes, it's a calcut. <laughs> um, so yes, I I filmed all. You know, I I was really next week, Jean. Next week at about the same time. So next week, Sunday, 16.30 GMT, that's Greenwich Mean Time. Um, enjoy your week, everyone, and hi, Joyce, Joyce, hi, Kitty. No, never mind, you can catch the all the banter, um, all the banter later on in the replay. You can catch me telling Josh no when he asked me for um, hints for the cow. <laughs> Sorry, Josh. <laughs> the time here should be about 5.30. Is it? I think so. Excellent, Kay. I'm glad I gave you some inspiration even if it is to start cleaning. <laughs> oh my goodness! 
five hints, Josh. Look, you can ask for something, but that's asking far too much, honestly. Five hints. I don't even have five hints of how this is going to be like. How can I give you five hints? <laughs> Oh dear. Well, Josh, give me some time, okay? I need some time, some time to... Th Why is this thing hanging there? There. I need some time to sort things out and get started on it. <laughs> yeah, that's asking far too much, honestly. Oh, peeps, I am so happy. Wow! At least one or two. You change your mind quite easily, don't you? Yes! Excellent, Kiri. Excellent five hints. Great five hints. The best five hints I could have come up with. Josh, did you note them down? Oh my goodness. It's so funny. Anyway, people, I'm going to go. I have some washing to get in. I have some washing to um, fold and put away. <sighs> a hint is a hint, Josh. A hint is a hint. A hint is a hint. <laughs> I'm loving this banter. <laughs> um, and bye. Bye, Josh. Bye. I am, luckily, I don't have to cook tonight because we're having leftovers. I cooked double amounts yesterday, so that's great. And hopefully, I I don't want to give any hints because I haven't decided on everything yet. Once I'm in the process of doing this, I am sure I will be giving... Bye, Laurie. I will be giving you hints. I will be playing that whole game of hints and um, clues and getting you all excited. Um... And things like that so it will all happen dinner is fajitas so last night I made uh, fajitas so you know the the fajitas and then you put some salad on some guacamole some salsa sour cream and then we had um, mince with uh, red kidney beans and we put that on and then you sort of fold it you know um, and tonight we're having the same um, we've, I've got mince left, I've got vegetables, fried vegetables you put on top as well, like, like red peppers and stuff. Um, <clears throat> Rafaela, oh that's funny, oh he can wait, don't worry, this is more important. <laughs> and um, tonight uh, we're having rice with it, so I'm boiling some rice and then we're having the, all the leftovers because there was a lot of meat left, there was a lot of vegetables left. Um, and we had the other fajitas at lunchtime as a quesadilla. So, mm, yeah, something like that, Sue. Something like that. I just have to get, you know, get get started on the patterns and see how I go. Exciting. Yeah, I mean that's it. You know, to, to be honest, cooking it doesn't matter. My my laundry does my laundry. You know, my washing machine does the laundry. Um, you know, it's just five minutes to put it in, and I, you know, I put some out. I've put some in the dryer. Yeah, I know it's warm, and I should have put it on the line, but you know, I don't have time for all of that. So I've done half half, and I'll have to make the bed as well. Um, and yeah, so I've got my husband at home today, so he can uh, help me with, uh, he'll boil the rice for me and then heat up some of the dinner, so we'll be eating soon. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. So the rest of the evening I shall be sorting things out and, oh, coconut rice, I like that. And um, yeah, I'll be hopefully, yes, I'm going to start that bunting. So I'm gonna make the, the bunting. Shall I make them a little bit bigger maybe? A tiny bit bigger than the ones that I made because that was only nine rows. Maybe I should do 10, 11, 12 rows, something a tiny little bit bigger. Um, and then I'll do a surface crochet on it with um, slip stitches. And then hopefully I'll do a video for that as well. Right, okay people, I'm gonna go now because I'm stalling. 
you're stalling me as well. <laughs> okay, thank you all so very much for joining me. I've had the greatest of times. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and do uh, have another look at the replay if what once it's on. Um, do leave me your comments if you want to get in touch with me. There are possibilities, and watch out for the Italy videos this week. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later on. I will see you next week. Bye, bye everyone. Thank you. Bye, bye bye. I shall turn this off now. Bye.